Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of the Mark Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Friday. Happy Friday to everyone. Hope you guys got great upcoming plans. It's been pretty hot here in SoCal here with the Santa Anas. Um, but uh, hey, it's uh, May 2nd, and we got just a couple economic news releases, but some big ones, actually. We got the uh, non-farm payrolls. So these are the jobs that the Bureau of Labor Statistics are released today. And the last reporting back in March, we had 23,000 new jobs were created. The forecast for this month was 215,000, and it's well exceeded that, 288,000. So obviously really good numbers, best we've actually seen in about two years here. So good numbers right there overall. We also got the unemployment rate for the month of April. So last reporting was at 6.7. Remember, it was uh, like around 6.5, 6.6, 6, 6, if I remember right, and went up. And the forecast for this time was supposed to come back down to 6.6. .6, and it dropped all the way down to 6.3. So be cautious with the rate because you know how these numbers get a little bit manipulated. But the more important thing is uh, the 288,000 new jobs were created uh, for the month of April. So that one is obviously a good sign. A lot of it, you know, of course, is being attributed to the first quarter is being attributed to the severe weather they had back east uh, for the slowdown a little bit. So they think uh, the east, second quarter will be a pickup. So that will, that way, back around, uh, starting around July, they're going to be really looking at and scrutinizing the Q2 numbers to make sure uh, that, you know, it's picked up a lot and how much it's picked up uh, to offset the first quarter numbers. So, um, so be prepared uh, later on, the mid mid uh, mid future, uh, come around July when they look at the GDP and everything. Uh, that's what they're going to be looking for. All right, and last but not least, we got the fact orders for the month of March. So we had a 1.6 percent in uh, February increase in orders, and the forecast is supposed to taper a little bit to 1.4 and taper more than they anticipate. So not uh, great, 1.1 uh, percent, but the overall picture was we had the uh, nice jobs report. So let's go ahead and see how the market's reacting here. The uh, stock market is actually a little bit mixed. It was kind of strange. You know, when that came out, it was went up. The, uh, all the stock markets, all the indexes were up. And then uh, some earnings reports came down, came up, and that were disappointing. So then it brought the, all the markets down. Now you're starting to see a little bit of a mixed bag here. So we'll kind of have to wait and see uh, what will transpire, what the... Uh, what news is going to be more important to the investors? So, f so far the uh, the jobs, were, from what I'm hearing, is uh, from investors that they had already had that built in. So it may take more its um, lead uh, to the um, uh, the earnings reports. So we may be kind of seeing seeing what those uh, entail. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the bond market's doing today. And uh, again, we're flying today. Um, we started off lower as we saw at, because the stock market was up. And then we've since then rebounded quite a bit. But we had a nice day yesterday, and we're only at about three basis points from where we left off yesterday. Uh, so it's not enough for a price change. So we're about the same. Uh, but if you looked at pricing earlier this morning, uh, especially if you're on the East Coast, it probably had pricing for the worst because it dropped, as you can see, the bottom of the candlestick there was much, much lower. And now we're up about 30 base points, equal about where we left off. So overall rate about now, where it should be about equal or on par where we left off yesterday. So great, great numbers there. Um, you know, we'll ha again, we'll have to kind of wait and see uh, as, you know, with this data, if we can continue this trend, if we have a stock market correction or where it's going to go. But uh, overall, we're getting uh, some good numbers here. All right. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your weekend. And we'll see you guys on Monday. Thanks for watching.